Hello. <clears throat> hey, how's it going? What's going on, man? How's everything? I'm doing pretty great. How about yourself? Tugging along. <clears throat> Tugging along, huh? Yeah. Having some temptations and stuff. Getting through it though. Hold up. Got to see. Um, like I feel like I've been like still with like the um the dreams and stuff. It's been like in my mind, like yeah. the wet dreams and stuff. Yeah, that's been like the struggle part. Gotcha. I can't really see your whole face. Oh, oh all right, sorry. okay. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, the dreams, dude. They uh, yeah. It takes a while for them to slow down. I would yeah. say uh, it took me a good couple solid months for yep. uh, for them to take a really big shift. Yep. For where they started to come less, and then just about a month and a half ago. It just took a big, even bigger shift where they stopped coming and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, you know, don't get discouraged by them, like I say. At the beginning of your walk, did that happen to you? Like, did you have, like, um, when you got freed from, like, you never went back, right? Yeah. Never back to masturbation. Because yeah. I remember, I don't know if it was you were, you, t you were telling me or it was, like, in one of your videos. You said you saw, like, a video and it gave you, like, a burning sensation. Uh, well, I got deliverance myself, and uh, the spirit of lust came out. Oh, and, th and that was it. And never, like, you never. Oh, you, you were like, you were pretty. You, were, you got some pretty good deliverance. That was it for you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I mean, uh, I never did it again, but I've definitely been tempted since then. Like, like, how did you? Uh, how did you like stay free from it? For you? Um. Well, I would say uh, just growing in more intimacy with Jesus. And uh, initially recognizing that I was going to go to hell if I continued to do so. And um, I was at a pretty good spot in my life to where I could really just, uh, you know, have some some time alone. You know, I mean, I just moved out of state and whatnot. So I didn't know anybody. I was kind of living out in the country and stuff like that. So oh, you were living by yourself? No, I was living with my parents at the oh, time. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, oh, it was a different, a whole different situation you were in, right? Kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, and cutting off, like, uh, social media and stuff. I deleted Facebook exactly. off my phone and Instagram and stuff like that for a while. You really got to do whatever it takes. I mean. Oh, how, how long did you delete it for? Oh, probably just a month or so. Oh, is it, do you feel like you got, like, closer to God during that time? Oh, most definitely. Every that's month, cool. bro. <laughs> cool. But uh, that's not something you're still doing. You're just struggling with the temptations, right? Like, it's, it's like, the, the manifestations, like, in my dreams, I would say. Oh, yeah, 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 but not, like, in the physical. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, okay, yeah, I've had... Like, like, in the physical, like, when I'm awake, it's, like, just not even, like, really a struggle. Oh, okay, well, that's... It's, really it's, it's not even, like, I don't know. Like, obviously, sometimes you, you feel, like, the temptation. Yeah. But it's not like, yeah, I'm never... Yeah, yeah well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, I've had I've had one of those dreams since then, but yeah. you do, you know, I just pretty much wake up and uh, shake it off, pray, yeah. ask God to cleanse out my heart, and you yeah. know, to send angels to go take back the the body fluid and whatnot, and oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you can't yeah. let them get to you. Yeah, it's just like it's like sometimes, uh, what's it called? Like what happens is like. I'll be like sleeping and then like I'll wake up with like an erection or something just from like the simulation of seeing something in my sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean that happens. Yeah, that happens sometimes, but yeah. you just gotta shake it off as like whatever. And, you know? and then like when it does happen, like you feel like like that demon of lust. It's like if you feel it like because you're like your, your spirit's like sensitive to it, like you feel yeah. it. Yeah. That's the best time to pray against it, but yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, you, anything else you're you're struggling with besides the last? Oh, like my minds. My mind. Your I mean, mind? Yeah. Like what about thoughts. it? Just like just thoughts. Well, like if you like, like you know, like you know, like how like you feel like you have a thought and it's like you shouldn't be having it. Yeah, it's a yeah. demon thought. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, stuff, stuff like that. But just, I mean, like... Because, uh, like, I'm sure you know, like, your mind is, like, it's like a battlefield, pretty much. Oh, yeah, definitely. 24-7, bro, that's where the battlefield is. It's, it's like, it's actually the more difficult part to overcome. 
Yeah. Because like some things are like easier. Yeah. If you fill your mind up with the word of God, though, then you can always just run to that whenever you're having the uh, the temptations and stuff like that, too. So that's it's really awesome. And having that renewing of the mind, you know, that, that, that takes time to a certain degree. But I'm sure you know that, too, right? The mind is definitely not it's not a cake log. Yeah. yeah. But I just mean like, OK, yeah, everybody has the thoughts. But what kind of thoughts like any pride or like like vanity, vanity? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, what else? Yeah, something like like that. We're just like, world, we're just thinking about like something worldly. Okay. Like past life, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I can pray for you then. And, uh, yeah. Well, I, oh, I was going to ask you another question. Like, um, when, when you sin, like, do you, can you tell the difference between like your conscience? And it's just you, like you know, you know what I mean, right? Your like conscious can become like over sensitive. It's a good thing if it's super sensitive. That yeah. means you are you haven't fried it. Yeah, but, uh, but, but you would say that you would say that's a sin, like when you when you feel like something against your conscious, right? Yeah, for the most part, I mean. But it could also uh, be the Holy Spirit telling you, like, don't do that. It doesn't also mess. Yeah, there's a difference. Both, yeah, both of those things as well, too. But sometimes yeah. the devil will try to get you bound up in legalism and try to masquerade itself as your conscience. But most of the time, you know, like nine times out of ten, it's going to be your conscience and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I take the attitude of if you sin, not when yeah. you sin. What are you saying? Like legalism? Like what? What's, the, what's an example of that? Just uh, curious. I mean. Oh, like something silly, right? Obviously, like, like not giving to the poor. Like, that's a really good example. Like, that's not a sin, but you, you could be, you could feel convicted about it, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we should do that. But if you miss an opportunity, it's not, it's not the sin, end of the world. Not. You just have the money. unless unless God's told you do that. Yeah, then you need to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Have you have you prayed for like a lot of people this week? Um, let's see. Well, last week more so, but uh, it's kind of just the beginning of the week, so yeah. not really anybody. Yeah. I've been praying for myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but you said you like praying for people, though, right? You don't like. You said you like praying for people, though, right? Yeah, I like yeah. to. But and you said like you get ready for it. Like you always tell me like to um. Tell you like ten minutes ahead of time, right? Yeah, well, I, I like to pray. I like to yeah. try to pray beforehand. Oh, just, just, just to get in that, get in that uh, spiritual. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, the devil he could attack you like when you pray. Does that happen sometimes? Um, yeah. he could like try to get your mind off of it, right? True. It really depends, you know. Yeah. It just depends on on a lot of other circumstances. Mm -hmm. Usually not when I'm about to pray deliverance. I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I suppose we can get started. You just need to sit back a little bit because I can only see, like, half your face again. Yeah. Can you see fine like that? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, want, I, want, I have one more question. Like, when you get, like, delivered, like, what allows a demon back? Is it, like, it's willful sin, right, pretty much? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Willful sin will demonize you very big, but... Uh, there are times where you might just be sitting there and worrying and whatnot, or just, you know, dwelling on their thoughts, and that can even start to... I, that's happened to me, like, sometimes, like, when I fear it, it's like, you almost, like, let the spirit back in. When I'm you just even dwell, thinking about it, yeah. When you yeah. dwell upon the thoughts that they're giving you, that yeah. strengthens them back up. They're trying to rebuild that kingdom in you. So, you know, you need to continue to press onward in Christ, even after yeah. you get the deliverance. Otherwise, yeah. they'll just come back in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said they actually come back seven times worse. So, yeah. All right. Anything else? Um... Yeah, just, yeah. just pretty much, pretty much the stuff I told you. Oh, I just meant like as far as questions or anything, but oh, uh, oh, um, oh, yeah. So, so you were saying just like not dwelling on it and just like not willfully sinning, pretty much, right? Yeah, I mean, the Bible says whatever is whatever is not a faith is yeah. sin, right? Yeah, so yeah. we always need to be walking in that faith. Otherwise, yeah. there's a possibility of the door being open to the enemy. In in yeah. some degree, it's not like you're gonna get, you know. It's obviously like they won't tempt you with something that 
not your weakness, right? They what? attempt you. No, the, the enemies attempt you with something that he knows you're weak in. That's where he like attacks. Yeah, yeah. most likely yeah. for the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, other demons that aren't as strong in you will be also tempting you as they're coming out as well, too, just because they're not necessarily a strong man or whatever, but... Yeah. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. I'll Heavenly just, oh, Father. just lay back and look at you right pretty much. Yeah, yeah. All right, Heavenly Father, right now I pray for my brother in Jesus' name, Lord God. I thank you for continuing to grow him in you, Lord. And uh, right now we want to come against the satanic strongholds inside of his soul and inside of his flesh. The demons that are manifesting in his flesh right now, I bind them a thousandfold. I command the demons that are surfacing right now to be locked down in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I lose fire through the whole body right now. I lose fire in the chest right now. All across that room, I, lo I lose fire from the Most High God in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I bind the spirit of lust right now. You demons that are tempting him with worldly desires right now, I burn in Jesus Christ's mighty name, and I lose fire in that chest right now. In the lungs, any strongholds in the lungs right now. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, fire through the whole body right now. Demons on the eye sockets right now that are giving him... <coughs> I burn in Jesus' name right now. I burn through the whole body in Jesus' mighty name right now. I send a fire shock through that chest right now. Hotter, 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 hotter in that chest right now in Jesus' name. I'm a sort of the yeah. I come against the lust and perversion right now in Jesus' mighty name. I bind these spirits right now. I bind them hand and foot. I bind them at the neck right now. And I call them forth up out of the mouth right now in Jesus' name. Lust, perversion, pornography, adultery. Out in Jesus' name. Right now. Keep coming out right now. Fire deeper in that chest. <laughs> Praise God. Any demons of pride right now, worldliness, I burn in Jesus' name. You demons that are poisoning him, poisoning him in the dreams right now, I lose fire through the whole body in Jesus' name. I burn out the demonic poison in the stomach and in the heart that you demons are feeding him in the dreams. Father, please give him discernment to be able to overcome those dreams right now. In Jesus' name, and I burn out the demons thereof. I lose fire deeper in that chest right now. Every single unclean spirit that's manifesting right now, I command to come out through the mouth in Jesus' mighty name right now. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Out, spirits! Let's go! Let's go! All the way, all the way, all the way. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray for your Holy Spirit to expand right now in his chest and his spirit, man. And I push these demons out of the soul by the blood of Jesus Christ right now in the soul. I push these demons out. I clean out the soul right now in Jesus' name. Father, please give him discernment. The demons that are giving him foolish thoughts of worldliness right now, I burn right now. I sear them right now with fire from the Most High God right now. Father, please open up the heavens right now and loose your angels to tear apart the demons in his soul right now. Every single unclean spirit right now that's torturing him in the dreams, I loose your torture back on you sevenfold. I loose that torture back on you sevenfold in Jesus' name right now. Every single one, let's go. Out, 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 out. Father, I pray for your love to continue to grow in his heart right now. And any demons of darkness right now, any demons of depression right now, or selfishness right now, I break them off the soul, I break them off the heart right now, and I lose fire, I torture them ruthlessly. I send 10,000 rebukes to the satanic kingdom right now, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, and I force these demons out in Jesus' name right now. I push you demons out of the chest right now. Go out through the mouth and go seeking in dry places. Every single unclean spirit wander right now. Out, 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 out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. <laughs> Father, I thank you right now. Lord, please continue to fill him up with more of your love right now. 
You demons that are giving him those foolish thoughts right now, I burn. Demons that are giving him no rest right now. Worry, anxiety, and fear in the brain right now. Any demons of fear right now are replaced with a sound mind, power, and love in Jesus' name. And I command every unclean spirit out. <laughs> out. 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 All the way. Let's keep going. Keep going. How you feeling? Lighter, a little bit. Better? Any other thoughts they're giving you in your mind that are tempting you, or are you feeling good now? My mind feels pretty blank. I, that, that's how it is when you get delivered, like you don't have big in the ball. Yeah, sometimes they'll give you like temptations in your thoughts as they're manifesting themselves through you, and you can kind of catch what ones are, are manifesting, but. What's that? I would say uh, nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. You feeling good then? A little bit lighter, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, praise be to God. All right. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name for this deliverance, Lord. And I pray that you continue to fill him up with more wisdom, Heavenly Father. Your word says that if we ask for wisdom... You'll give it to us, Lord God, and you won't abrade. So right now, I just pray for wisdom in his soul, Lord God. I pray for your Holy Spirit, uh, Lord God, to fill him up with affections for you in the soul right now of the demons that, that have been replaced. And we thank you, Father God, for your love, for your power, and uh, for the authority over the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <coughs> Praise God. Were you like, uh, were you into heavy sin before you got saved? Like occultic practices or a lot of sex or anything like that or, or not really? Fornication, yeah. But occultic, like that doesn't mean that you're just like, you could be like watching movies that are occultic. Oh, that's not necessarily oh, a cult. That could kind of demonize you, but not to the yeah. point. I was just curious. I was just trying to get a feel for, you know, how how deep they really... Well, they're deep yeah. in everybody, but how demonized... Well, like fornication, that plays, that plays a part, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's one of the biggest things, yeah. Especially, like, if you're saved and you're just, like, not really. <laughs> then you're not even saved, but... Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Like, you'd be saved and go back to, like... To oh, like, yeah. Yeah. But still, then yeah. you're not saved anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how, how do you know, like, when, when you pray for someone, how do you know, like, the demons are gone? Just like the first, you just have a, just from a feeling, right? Just from doing it. Yeah, just from the manifestations of, yeah. like, your confidence. You, you, got, you got to go at your own pace, right? It's not like just one prayer. It's like you're just, you're observing a person, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to discern what demons they have. And, yeah. Oh, you, you, you have discernment, like that gift? Well, I mean, you can look at the gift of discerning of spirits, but then there's also just discernment in general. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh... It's like, when you were praying for me, like, what did you feel? Just, like, the spirits leaving, or...? I didn't necessarily... I mean, sometimes I might get a, you know, a word about what kind of demon it is, but, uh... Yeah. You just told me the lust and the worldliness, yeah. and yeah, that yeah. Was, was good, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was coughing a lot, though. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, 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 that's, you know, with uh, with the demons manifesting it, uh, and coming out of somebody, it's always in the physical. It could be sneezing, yawning, yeah. coughing. The the harder... Some, that people, some, people, some people vomit, too, right? Yeah. Some people yeah. manifest crazy. It's different for everybody, yeah. The harder they're coming out of somebody, the bigger <laughs> demons are coming out. So mm -hmm. if somebody's just yawning, then it's smaller demons. But if they're, like, you know, throwing up and stuff like that, it's... Mm -hmm. It's like some, something serious, yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So. I, I was going to say, if, um, like, for the people that you've prayed for, like, what's the most you've prayed for someone? Besides, like, the Satanists? Uh, like, how many times? Yeah. Or, like, are there people that you pray with, like, constantly, or it's just, like, one and done? Or... Yeah, there's... No, well, I mean, there's both. 
Something yeah, like me, like you, you fainted for me like a couple, several times. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it really just depends. Sometimes mm -hmm. I pray for people consistently. Mm. And then some people, it's just one time. I'm not, the only, I'm not the only person you prayed for consistently right now. No. no. That's good. Yeah. 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 No. Like, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, why is he calling again? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I understand. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Just as long as you're continuing to grow. Yeah. And uh, you want to be a good witness for Christ and, uh, you know, you're bearing fruit and stuff like that. Yeah. Like I said, or I don't know if I said this, but we get the deliverance so that we can grow in Christ. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, <clears throat> serve him better and allow yeah. the Holy Spirit to be able to flow through us better. Yeah. So, oh, so, so you were saying like uh, there's people that you, you pray for like consistently and stuff? Since what? And there's people that you pray for consistently, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. But uh, yeah, I hey, do you mind if I throw this up on the internet, bro? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you think it was a good session? I mean, oh, oh you just want, I oh, just want to upload, right? Yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, anything what, what, what else? Books, what books do you read? Right now, I'm reading. You know who Jesse Morales is? Have I told you oh, about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm reading his book on uh, "Does Man Inherit a Sinful Nature?" Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. What else? Um, Virgin. I got, I got a couple books on the atonement. It's not like I got tons of books. Yeah. I, mainly just the Bible, but yeah, yeah. I've read one book called "The Attributes of God" by A. W. Tozer, and that was pretty good from what I remember. Yeah, I think that's a popular book too, right? Attributes. Oh, you've heard of that one? I, th I think I might have. Oh, okay. I, I know who that is, though, A.W. So, yeah, I know who he is. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's reformed, like Calvinist or not, but yeah, I'm not sure. But or, or, or reformed Calvinist, they're still, it's different from Christian, right? But it's not that different. Reformed and Calvinism are pretty much the same thing. It's just two okay. different definitions. Okay. But I believe some Calvinists are Christians. Yeah, I think yeah, some yeah. of them, uh, they just they just believe in di different stuff, though, right? That's the that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody kind of believes in different stuff to some degree or whatever. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I was gonna say, like in your in your spare time, do you like you pray a lot and like read the Bible? I've been trying like, to in order to like stay submitted to like Christ. Like, how do you maintain that? That's the yeah. question, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I try to read the Bible every single day. Mm -hmm. There's sometimes where I'll I'll read like. You know, a lot, and then there's sometimes where I won't. Yeah. Uh, prayer. And then, yeah, I always pray in the morning. I always pray before I go to sleep. And um, For like two two hours a day. <clears throat> no, not that much. Uh -huh. it, it depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some days I won't give a I won't give a time estimate, but it could be more. I'll definitely yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the biggest. Like, things, oh, if you're, if you're like fasting and stuff, yeah, obviously it's gonna be. As an example, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be more. Hopefully, yeah. otherwise, you might not. <laughs> you're, not, you're not really fasting yet. <laughs> or you just might not do that well in the fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you're, so some some days it's like that, or it's like more hours. So. Yeah, I try to I try to do worship music every single day. That's where I feel God's presence the most personally. Me too. That, that's sometimes I like play worship music, and it's like. I'll just start feeling this presence like becoming. Yeah, good. it's good stuff. <laughs> but it's like it gets you away from like complaining about oh, this is my I don't like this in my life or that. Yeah. Cause that that's easy to like get into. Cause like the Christian life is hard. So, but when you praise God, you kind of you forget about all that stuff and you just yeah worship Him for who He is. You've got to start to not look at those <clears throat> things as such big things. Yeah, they're yeah. really minor things in comparison to eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. like the, re the rest of the time, you like just you read books, hang out with your family, stuff like that. Um, it, it varies. I'm sure every day is different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like uh, today I went to church. Yeah, yeah. Then I went on a hike. Yeah. Then uh, I just you made like hiking though. You could like spend time with God. Pretty much. Like I I've done that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good actually. Yeah, because it's like it's really quiet and like it's away from everybody. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to be making some dinner, so I'm going to be heading out. But, uh, yeah, I'll throw this, this puppy up if that's cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, have a good night, bro. You too. Peace.